In this video, I'm gonna share with you how Spam and Buttons runs the best trips tied in in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I wanna encourage you to hit that subscribe button below. I Every single day we release new videos that can help you become a better Madden player. And first I have to say, I wanted to do this video primarily because I'm a huge, huge fan of Spam and Buttons. I think he is the best player in the world right now. I think he was probably, honestly, one of the better players last year that nobody really knew about. I'm so excited that he was able to defeat Noah uh, in last night's game. And the reason why I'm so excited is because I feel like now he's got a chance uh, to potentially uh, be able to beat Henry and then maybe even get a belt tonight. I'm a huge Spamming fan. Uh, literally nothing but positive things to say about him. He's one of the very few people in Madden that I really do study you know, deeply, I really try, I actually really do appreciate his opinions, his perspectives on the game. I think he's one of the best uh, players that we've seen in the last two, maybe even three years. I would really argue this year he's been one of the best players in the game by far. So I wanted to break down one of his favorite route combos and a combo that, um, you know, he runs out of the trips tied in. He runs the New England Patriots playbook. I also <clears throat> have been running the trips tied in for the last couple of months. I actually ran that, you know, most of Madden 20. Uh, Madden 21 and then obviously I've ran it most of Madden 22 as well uh, It's just a really really good offense and we've got a full ebook on that if you want to learn how I run it uh, There will be a link to my patreon in the description by joining the patreon You can get access to all my ebooks not just my trips tied in guy, but you get access to all 14 I got 14 offensive and defensive ebooks in there. We got spread air raid. We've got bunch compression We've got U trips uh, and then of course we have trips tied in we've got great defenses in there as well now, Noah was running, uh, pretty sure the 46 playbook, he was going in between dollar and 335 wide. He's really kind of utilizing 335 wide a little bit more when he thought that Spam was going to run. And then he was also using dollar. Uh, but I just want to break down this concept. And I just have to tell you, Spamming uh, runs this concept better than anyone that I've seen. And he is very, very consistently, like I said, probably the best trip. I think it's it's a no-brainer. He's the best trip side in player in the world. Uh, I don't know how you could argue with that at this point in the season. I think, honestly, he was probably one of the better ones last year. And, again, I just don't think people knew about it. So this is a setup that he does out of PA Counter Go. Now, you can do this out of uh, PA – or, I'm sorry, Pat's YN, and I'll show it to you real quick here. Uh, if you don't have Titan Apprentice, you can just use Pat's YN. But he he has Titan Apprentice, so he does this out of PA Counter Go. One of the reasons Spamman likes PA Counter Go is because of the fact that the blocking is so effective. And I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. You'll notice that when you run the meta uh, 335 wide blitz, if I were to just call the play verticals and block my running back, you'll notice that what happens is the contain glitches out the running back and gets the sack. Why Spamman likes PA Counter Go so much is because you'll notice here that if I run this concept against... PA counter go watch the running back on this play what you'll notice is uh, the running back just simply picks up all the pressure and you now have time to be able to throw the ball so it's one of the best features of PA counter go it's part of why Spamman calls this I think he called PA counter go uh, I think on 80 to 90 percent of his passing plays last night against Noah it's the best passing concept uh, not just because of the passing but because of the um, because of the ability he has to be able to pick up all the pressure now, uh, I want to go over real quickly here. One of Noah's strategies for defending trips tight end was he loved to man up the number three receiver. I'm going to talk about how Spam and dealt, dealt with that later on in the video. But the core concept is this. We're going to put Gronk on a post. We're going to put Miller on a flat. And we're going to put Godwin on a slant. That's the core concept of this. Okay? If you, if you don't have the ability to put your tight end on a post, you could go to Pat's Y in. And you could just simply smart route the tight end. It'll go about the same as a post. And then you could do it like this. Um, now, you won't have the protection that you get from PA Counter Go, but you basically have the same concept. Okay? So, this is by far, like I said, I think this is Spamman's favorite play. Um, he also has a couple of other setups out of PA Counter Go that he likes. But this one is the one that he calls almost every time when the chips are down and he needs a dot. And it's a simple read, really. He's basically just watching the user. If the user defends the slant, then he's going to look to throw the tight end post, as you can see right there. And then what's going to happen is the way that they can defend a tight end post is they have to go to some kind of cover two. So what you were seeing in last night's matchup was you were seeing a couple different renditions of cover two. But for the purposes of this video, like I said, Noah was manning up the number three receiver. But I'm going to get to that in just a second. We're just going to put both of these guys on hard flats. So now what you'll see is 
you know, the whole middle of the field now becomes an, a possible, you know, throwing window. And so what you were seeing from spamming is if the user went with the tight end like he does right here, then he could simply take that check down to the, to the slant over the middle of the field. And then even more so than that, and I think this is another reason why he was calling this play so much, this is one of the best cover two beaters in, uh, in Mad 22. And because of this fade, this fade on the left side, I don't know why, but I just find that this gets pretty good separation against a lot of different cover twos. Um, there it didn't quite get the separation because I got jammed. Notice the cloud flat does, does uh, dip down, and I'm able to throw my tight end post late into play. Now, one other thing I wanted to hit on here, this was a play that Spamman hit right before halftime. And it's the same concept, but he's going to change it up a little bit. And the reason why he's going to change it up a little bit is this is what we were seeing a lot of. We were seeing a lot of hard flat here. And then we had Duggar, um, who basically man-locked onto the number one receiver, or the number three receiver here, right? Essentially, Noah was manning up the number three, and then he was going to basically use her over the middle of the field. Okay, and then he basically, you know, had different coverages and stuff, but that's kind of where it all started. So what Spamman did, what I thought was a great adjustment, was he slanted the second receiver, the number two receiver in the trips. He zigged that guy, so he beat man, and then he had a post. Now it gave Noah something else to kind of think about, and you saw Spamman hit this for about 20 to 30 yards at a, at a, at a key play. They ended up getting him a, a field goal against Noah, which was a really, really big deal uh, in the way that this game played out. So this is kind of the core concept that uh, Spamman really does like to use. Now I want to show you another way that you could utilize this. Um, this was something that I think he actually wasn't able to score on. He actually should have scored on it, but he got a, uh, an accurate. And that's to take, if you have Hot Rep Master or Outside Apprentice, then you can, instead of running a vertical route, so let's say they're running a lot of cover two, then you, what you could do is you could put this post out here. And what you'll notice is if it's cover two in this post, this post, almost every single time, if it's cover two, it should be a touchdown. Right over the top, just like that, as a really, really good read over the top. Last thing I wanted to showcase uh, from this was another concept or another uh, piece of this, and that's when you run it to the other hash. So, you know, plays work a little bit differently depending on the hash marks that they're on. In this example right here, what we're going to do is we're going to put this guy on a soft squat, and then we're just going to drop these guys out into coverage. And then, of course, we're going to go ahead and use her. Um, you know, we're going to have some man coverage here on the number three. You know, just kind of do it something like this, right? And then, you know, maybe you saw something that kind of looks like this, okay? So this is kind of what you might see. Well, what Spamman does and what why this is so good, especially to the wide side of the field, is if it's cover two on that left side, that fade, uh, if you pass lead it to the outside, will do a really good job at getting over the top of a cover two zone, especially a zone drop. And as you can see, he actually hit a touchdown for that, I think, or at least a big play in the game uh, early or later, later in the game against Noah. So this is one of his core concepts. I think it's one of the best concepts in this game. Obviously, if you want to check me on this, you can just go watch the game and see him hit this over and over again. I think T. Davis even, even shouts it out throughout the course of the broadcast. It's just one of the best plays in the game. And Spamman runs it better than anybody. So... Like I said, I'm a huge, huge fan of Spamman. I've got nothing but respect for him. I think if you guys want to study players, if you want to study a trips tight end player, maybe you're wanting to get better at trips tight end, I think Spamman is probably the best player to study. The way that he, uh, his offense is borderline unstoppable. Uh, basically, the only way he gets stopped is if somebody, if he stops himself. And that's the mark of a truly great offensive player. So if you want to check him out, again, uh, just, just search him you know, on Twitch, spam and buttons. Best trip side in player in the world, in my opinion. I really hope he does win the belt. I'm a huge fan of his. And, uh, guys, I just want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to learn some of my stuff, if you want to take your game to the next level, you want to get some defense for this, I've got some stuff in our Patreon that could slow some of this stuff down. Thanks for watching. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description where you can go check out that Patreon for just 10 bucks a month. You're going to get access to every ebook. I've got 14 of them in there right now with more on the way, and one of them is the trip side in. I think the, the most in-depth offense that I have in there is trip side in. We're actually getting ready to do a little bit of an update on it. And we're going to do a Spam and Buttons film room as well on the Patreon, which I'm really excited about. We're going to actually brought, walk you through what he's doing offensively, what makes him so good, and I'm really excited to dive into it because I love studying Spam, and I think, like I said, he's one of my favorite people to watch, one of my favorite people to study because I think he truly is that good. He's a very talented player in the MCS, I think he's going to make a lot of noise. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and go check out Spamming.